What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Yoani Stelez versus Sergio Garcia. And this is going to be a 10 rounder in the Super Welterweight division. And this fight is going to be Saturday, July 29th, from the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this fight is going to be broadcasted on Showtime pay per view. And to get both fighters' resumes, Yoannis Tellez fighting out of Cuba holds an unbeaten record of 5 0 with four wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked number 160 by box rec in the super welterweight division. And really to get into uh, his resume and some of his best wins, I mean, thus far in his career, he has zero wins against opponents with a winning record. All the guys he has beaten have had a losing record, but his best win would be against um, Cameron Crayell, who's known for upsetting some of these undefeated prospects who did hold a record of 19 and 26 and 3 going into their bout. But to get into his opponent's resume, Sergio Garcia fighting out of Spain holds a record of 34 wins, 2 defeats, and 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former European super welterweight champion, um, and he's also ranked number 71 on box rec in the super welterweight division. And to list both of his defeats and some of his best wins, he has a very close unanimous decision defeat to Sebastian Flandora. The judges didn't have it close, but... Really, anyone watching that fight knows it was a close one. I thought it was really, really close. Could have won either way. I thought that Garcia definitely could have won that one. Um, and then he also has a very wide unanimous decision defeat to former world champion Tony Harrison. But to list some of his best victories, he has defeated Maxime Bausier by unanimous decision. His best win would be his unanimous decision victory over Ted Cheeseman when Cheeseman was undefeated. And he also has a unanimous decision victory over Sergei Rabchenko. So in my opinion, this fight is a very, very good opener to the pay-per-view of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. The original opponent was supposed to be Jesus Ramos, who I think would have probably ran through Sergio Garcia, and pr pretty much I think he would have stopped him in the later rounds. But I think this fight is a much, much more interesting and competitive fight, considering that Tellez only has five fights to his name and hasn't beaten anyone with a winning record. I think it's going to be a really, really interesting one, because Tellez is very hyped up. Uh, had a very good amateur career in Cuba. I'm not too sure if he was a Cuban national champion, but I know that he did beat some very solid guys in the amateurs, and he has looked pretty solid thus far in his career. But that's exactly what I was saying with fellow Cuban prospect, a uh, guy named Yuelvis Gomez, who did fight, I believe it was two or three weeks ago, when he did lose to Marquise Taylor. I was saying the same thing about that guy, and then he lost. So who knows here? And Sergio Garcia is definitely not a pushover. He's a very, very good fighter. I believe that his ranking as number 71 by Boxrec is blasphemous. I think he should be definitely ranked higher than that. Definitely a top 30 at least fighter in the super welterweight division. He's a very solid guy, likes to come forward himself. He does have sort of high guard where he likes to come forward, throw some big hooks to the head. Uh, he's definitely a very, very solid fighter and will give a lot of these guys a very good test. So I think for Tellas, this is going to be a really, really tough one. Um, and I think that it's definitely going to be the toughest fight of his career by a mile. But Tellas in this one, just to get straight into it and how they're going to fight and how this is going to go round by round, I think that Yoannis Tellas is going to be very, very smart in this one. Um, and the difference between him and the other Cuban prospect I mentioned, Yuelvis Gomez, Gomez likes to put on a show, likes to go forward, but Tellas, he likes to fight behind the jab, likes to box. And I think that in this one, he's trying, he's going to try and emulate how Tony Harrison fought Sergio Garcia, where he was just fighting behind the jab, just trying to move around, fight smart. And I think that's what he's going to do. There's really no room for error when you're fighting Sergio Garcia. Garcia likes to come forward, really likes to rough you up, put, put you against the ropes, and put pressure on you. So I think that Tella is going to have to be very smart, have to emulate that amateur game plan he always used to fight with, fighting behind the jab, just scoring points, landing your shots. And I think that's what he's going to do. Uh, I was originally thinking that Garcia was a little too experienced for Ioannis Tellas, but something in me is thinking that Tellas is going to get the job done by decision, but I think it's going to be a really, really close decision. I think the earlier rounds are going to be in favor of Ioannis Tellas. Like, I think after the first three rounds, Tellas could very well be up like 30-27, just sweeping the first three just with the jab and just keeping Garcia at bay. But once the fourth round hits, like rounds four, five, and six are going to be much more competitive. Yoannis Tellez hasn't been past six rounds, I believe so. But I think that, let's say after the first six, 
I think that Garcia is going to be coming forward more and Yoannis Tello is going to be slowing down a bit considering he hasn't really ever been past six rounds and never been tested with someone in there really trying to win, especially someone with 36 fights to his name and 34 victories. So I think that after like the first six rounds, it could be like 58, 56, 59, 55 in, in Tellez's favor, uh, most likely 58, 56. But then like rounds like seven and eight are going to be much, much closer. And I think Garcia could take those rounds uh, just with his pressure alone and just pressuring the young kid in Tellez. And I think that after eight rounds, it could be something like a 77, 75, very, very close in favor of in favor of Tellez. But then I think rounds nine and 10, uh, I think Tellez is going to take one of them. And then I think that um, Garcia is going to take most likely the final round, just trying to slug it out, trying to win that round, just trying to put everything out there, trying to rough up the kid uh, in Tellez. And I think that he's going to take that final round. Whilst I think that Tellez is going to just try and box, trying to score points in that ninth round. But I think it's going to be a really, really interesting fight and a clash between two styles. And especially a, cl a clash between two guys at very different points in their career. Garcia really trying to get that solid win since having two losses recently. As opposed to Tellez really trying to start his career with a bang over a high-rated fighter in Sergio Garcia. But in the end, I think that Tellez is going to have just more rounds than Garcia on the scorecards. But I think it's going to be really, really close. I think in the end, this fight will go the distance. And I think that... The judges will come out with scorecards anywhere between 96-94 and 97-93 in favor of Ioannis Tellez. And I think he will get a unanimous decision victory, but a very, very close and hard fought unanimous decision victory. So if you got this far in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go leave a comment, give this video a like, and hit the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it, like I said before. Uh, so overall, I believe that Ioannis Tellez will get the best victory of his career by far, as I think he will defeat Sergio Garcia by a very close and hard-fought unanimous decision, most likely 96-94 or 97-93. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.